Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. So let's start with love, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you in terms of love. All right. So long distance. So somebody could be away from you at a distance from you here. You could have a long distance relationship with someone. It could be online, you know, over the phone. Um, for some of you who are not engaging in a long distance relationship, I'm, I'm just hearing that there's somebody, you're already in a relationship. Somebody could be talking to someone outside of their relationship and that's the distance uh, with, with the third party here. And then for some of you, you live with someone or you're in a relationship or a marriage, but there's distance between the two of you. Um, some of you could be traveling a long distance, especially for the holiday season. Let's see what's come, what's coming in for Gemini yeah, control. It's like, um, there could be some sexual relationship, some, uh, relationship where you, you know, you have to control, uh, the amount of time, energy, uh, communication that you have with this person. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm seeing here. If somebody also tries to maintain control in the relationship, somebody feels like the other person is uh, less experienced, inexperienced, younger. Therefore, they they like that and they like the control aspect. There could be a surprise here, Gemini, for you, or you could be giving the surprise of maybe an engagement ring, taking things to the next level. Expect the unexpected. Expect it here. Very nice karma. Um, somebody is, uh, they're, they're seeing the lesson in this, in this relationship, what this relationship means here. Travel. Someone could travel for work. There is somebody here who is, who also has a relationship outside of their main relationship, their number one relationship. So it's like somebody's keeping up you know, communication with somebody outside of the connection, but they keep a tight lip on this, a tight hold on this. So they're trying to keep it repressed. They don't want this to come out. Yeah. They're doing something in the dark. They could be traveling to see this person. It's something about communication. Like they can only talk to them, you know, after eight, before 8 PM. I don't know. You know, it's like somebody here is uh, trying to maintain the relationship that they have obligation to and the relationship where there are no strings attached. They're trying to be the puppet master on both relationships or in both relationships. Um, do expect for something to come to the light also. Um, someone may be inquiring about um what someone is doing when they're gone somebody may travel and you don't trust this person when you're gone if you can't see them if you can't be around them you don't trust them you you, you think that they're doing something that they're not supposed to be doing when you're when you're not in close proximity what is this about yeah official person so um you don't trust your person here Somebody's trying to maintain their family life, but they're trying to keep something a secret. It's like hiding and hiding in plain sight. Keep something a secret, even though they have a family, even though they already have something established. Somebody tries to make the relationship very rigid. This sex only connection is real, you know, um, by the book. I'll call you, don't call me, I'll text you, don't call this number, don't call, don't do, you know, somebody has all these rules, they're very official when they deal with this person. What is the career and finance, what is the career and finance message? Okay, very nice, 10 of pentacles, so it, it looks like you're you're on your way to build, building an empire here, um, Gemini. It says happy, organized people build empires. So make sure that you're happy, number one, and you're organized. It says that if you don't like your family, go make your own. Also, the advice here is to stay home. Save your money. 
Uh, I can see why the tower, something unexpected could be happening. Something unforeseen. Um, in the tower, it's like you're going to have to kind of pick up the pieces in terms of maybe your family, your career and finance. Something happens with a family member where you have to kind of step in. Yeah, you have to be the king of swords and the knight of pentacles. I don't know if you have to pay out some money or you have to be the responsible party. You have to be the one devoted to seeing the family through. There could be an unexpected pregnancy. There could be, okay, unexpected. Some plan B might need to be in place here if that's what you are into. In career and finance, um, some of you could come into like um, just like upheaval to where maybe you have to get a lawyer. Somebody didn't pay you. You're still waiting for payment. You did the work. You were being very nice and compassionate about this. You also need to think of new ways to bring in more business be better at business. Be organized. The moon card says that um, with the nine of pentacles, it's something about savvy business owner. You've done a lot of work. Therefore, your, your level of um, financial security is going to be maintained here. But there's something you don't see you're not seeing what is the moon card something in your dreams a dream uh, the realization of a dream practical logical rational might have to do the right thing and moving forward. You might be getting some inspiration from your dreams, especially if you write music. You're not, you're failing to see something. You're failing to see the gift or the opportunity or the opportunity for expansion in something. You, you don't see how to expand this thing. Let that be your prayer. How do I expand my, I don't know what you do. This is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, please let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below, receiving the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Keep in mind, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, you can come learn the Tarot with me. The classes are linked below. And if you are in the giving spirit, you could purchase something for the channel. The Amazon wish list is below also. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.